guys welcome back today let me explain graph theory graph theory is the is a branch of mathematics that studies the relationship between pairs of objects these objects are often represented as a node or vertices and the relationship between them are represented by edges graphs provide a flexible and a powerful way to model and analyze various system structures so let me explain in detail about the graph theory so graph theory is the very much important topic in uh, many fields so in computer science we mainly uh, see graph theory as a data structure it is a some kind of data structure so so graph is a set of vertex and vertices and edges vertices again a set of individual vertex say v1 v2 until vn and the edge is again we can say a set of edges e1 e2 until n number of edges so we can represent the graph as a node or vertex so for example if i take a three node graph suppose this is a node so the, this is b assume this is the c okay so here the node is called this is called the nodes but technically we speak uh, vertex we speak this as a vertex and this is an, another vertex this is a, another vertex simply we can say that we can keep the name of this one assume that there are three things or the three vertices are there so i can name as a v1 say v2 and v3 and the line joining the two nodes or two vertices are called edges say i can term this one as a e1 and a e2 clear so the graph having the say, same thing v1 and e1 okay then the wedge and the mean the vertex set we have v1 comma v2 comma v3 and the edge is the again set in this above graph we we have two edges e1 and the e2 okay guys so this is a small representation of the graph so graph is a again repeating graph is a set of vertexes and the edges vertex is vertex is again a set of vertices and the edges again a set of edges in simply i can say that edge is a line joining two vertices edge is a line joining other uh, in other words i can say the edges are the relation between two vertices clear so this is the fundamental uh, definitions of a uh, uh, graph this is called a graph for example this is called this i can represent this as a graph g1 so here i can say g1 equals set of uh, vertices and edges clear now what is the application of a uh, graph theory graph theory has numerous application across various fields uh, here are the some examples so graph is very much important in, in several domains for example in computer science and networks we use graph theory for uh, network routing uh, we use graph theory for uh, network routing and also for uh, social uh, networks in network routing graphs are used to model the communication networks model the communication networks um, and the algorithms we can use some algorithms like uh, Dijkstra or uh, Bellman Ford for the efficient uh, routing we use this uh, graph theory 
second it also used in uh, social networks in social networks uh, I mean a social media platform uh, represent the user as a node and the connections or the or as a edges facilitating the analysis of a social structure and uh, information propagation so in this two in a computer science mainly in these two places we use a graph theory and in a transportation and the logistics first one road and networks graph model road networks where uh, intersections or uh, nodes on the roads or the edges algorithm helps to optimize roads plan transportation and analyze traffic flow for example i can say suppose i can say city one city a another city b so there are there may be multiple roads connected to city a and b okay so this is called as a route one route two and the route three so this is a general uh, representation of a city map or a road map so this can be implemented as a road i mean as a graph so we can say this city as a say vertex one or the vertex a or vertex b suppose it is so this is a root one as a edge one this is edge two edge three right so like this we can model the uh, road traffic networks or road networks and secondly it is mainly used in a flight status i mean flight connections airports can be represented as a node under flights or edges aiding the optimization of uh, flight schedules and uh, connections and in uh, biology and medicine uh, protein protein uh, interaction networks and uh, epidemiology we use graph theory in the protein protein networks uh, nodes are represented as a protein and edges are represented as a uh, as a relation between the proteins or uh, this one helps to understand the cellular process and the diseases and uh, regarding the epidemiology graph models the spread of uh, diseases in populations and algorithms can predict the control and the outbreaks and then it also used in the telecommunication networks a graph model telephone or internet connection helping optimize the data transfer and identify the vulnerable points in the networks operational research project scheduling task and their dependencies can be modeled using graph assisting the project management and the scheduling cryptography in cryptography graph is used in a key exchange protocol uh, key exchange protocol um, i mean uh, graphs are used to model secure communication protocols ensuring the exchange of uh, cryptographic keys between the entities so you know already very well that cryptography is a secure transaction of messages from a send uh, from a sender to to receiver and to send a message from a uh, party a to b i mean the source of destination we need to secure the information we use to secure the information using some algorithm say rs algorithm or uh, um, bs algorithm any kind of algorithm use those algorithm use the key as a primary entity so the key have to be shared between the two senders and the two the two party senders and the receivers so graph theory models the key exchange process very perfectly and optimize the key exchanges and then uh, come to recommendation system in recommendation system uh, collaborative filtering users and items can be represented as a node users and items can be represented as, as a node and the edges are represented the preferences and interaction assisting the personalization recommendation system so so whenever we google something or we search something and then we get the relevant add on the particular item so this is all made through the uh, collaboration filtering process and then the game theory social choice theory in game theory we use the graph as a, in a social choice theory voting system can be represented using graph aiding the analysis of the decision making process in a game theory and then uh, cellular 
uh, in in chemistry uh, molecules atoms or node and the chemical bonds are represented as a edges so graph algorithm help to analyze the molecular structure and the property of a chemical uh, atom or chemical molecules then uh, geography so geography uh, is a graphical maps so node are represented as a location and the edges are represented as a connection that is a road river or whatever the connection between the uh, locations we can use that as a edges and uh, this aids in uh, route planning and the geographical analysis so we use this one in a uh, geographical analysis and then we have the finance oh finance is uh, reference this is not visible so okay right i write by myself so it is used in the finance in finance uh, we use a graph theory for the financial transaction and the relation between the entities helping the fraud detection activities so in finance we use the graph theory for financial transaction and the fraud detection and uh, finally it is used in the ocr optical optical character reader so in uh, ocr optical character reader, reader the graph theory is used for the image segmentation is used for image segmentation so these are all the uh, prominent uh, application which demonstrate the versatility of the graph theory in solving real world problem across the world I mean wide range of domains the ability of the model relationship and the interaction between entities makes graph theory an invaluable tool in the above said all the fields is an invaluable tools okay guys and then after this one this are the general uh, the fundamentals about the uh, graph theory and the where it has been used what is the application of this of this uh, graph theory and in this graph theory we have many concepts we have uh, many concepts on the terminology many concepts on the terminology so we will uh, discuss uh, one by one in the forthcoming video first we can say oh, mm, we can say degree degree is one of the terminology used path then cycle and then we have connectivity connectivity and the graph representation graph representation and the graph algorithms algorithms like that many concepts or there are many terminology and concepts or there we will uh, i mean i will explain each and every concepts in a forthcoming classes at the end of my forthcoming video not the class sorry forthcoming video at the end of uh, this complete uh, playlist you will be having the complete knowledge of graph theory okay guys see you bye bye have a great day